Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello there, my friends. This is Kevin Lopez back from Personal Tutors. Well, today I'm going to explain the chapter Desert Animals to you from 6th Standard Honeysuckle book. To the right here is the information button. Just click on it and you'll be forwarded to the playlist that provides you a chance to visit the other videos of the same syllabus. This is a chapter based on more of general knowledge and general science of your subjects, my friends. Usually it's called EVS as well in a few schools. It gives us a notion about the life in the desert. Not just how we live, but how do animals live. The chapter opens with the hot and weariness of the desert, where they explain that the Goebbels too spend the hot fiery days, the sunny days, by digging in the burrows and getting into the cool burrows down there. The darkling beetle usually during the scarcity of water just spreads up its leg to capture the moisture and when the droplets are collected on his legs he simply lets it trickle down and drinks the water. The more detailed version is given about the snakes, the mongoose and the camels as well. It has been mentioned that there are 2400 types of snakes usually. Now 2400 that is 2400 is a big number. There are various types of snakes my friend. The species you can call it. They start from a length of 15 centimeter to 15 meters. Now we are talking about big things as well. Right? It is said that some snakes are non-poisonous but yes some of them are really poisonous and they can kill humans just by a single bite. Here peculiarly they have explained about the rattler. Now the rattler my friend is a snake with a rattle at his tail that usually rattles when he finds danger around. Although the snake himself cannot listen or hear to his rattle but he comes to know about the moments around him by the ripples in the land that is the moments thus the snakes are quite keen in observing my friends they can just observe a moment around them with a flutter and the moment on the ground the rattler can be heard rattling his tail nearby and the best thing is to get away from it it's al also said about the mongoose who roam around in groups. They live in burrows. They are almost two and a half to three feet. And yes, they get in fierce battles with the snakes. Although the futile effort of the snake to overcome and bite the mongoose is there yet what happens is after the tiresome fight often the mongoose gives the final blow thus killing the snake there's one more animal over here that has been explained clearly is the ship of desert that is our exactly that's the camel now the camel is known as the ship of desert because it's the main mode of transportation in the desert. The hooves that they have, the padded feet that they have don't easily penetrate inside the sand. Rather they just go ahead and press themselves on the sand. That's not getting buried out there. There have been explained about the two species, the one with the single hump, the one with the double hump. They have also explained about the camel drinking almost 15 
hundred glasses of water that is 15 ga gallons of water in just five minutes that is almost 50,000 glasses now can you just believe it somebody drinking 50,000 glasses of water in just a period of five to ten minutes now that's what camels do their mouth are so tough that even the thorny plants and the thorns on those plants cannot penetrate it the hump here does not hold water my friends it actually has got fats in it and these fats are consumed by the camel during the period they encounter scarcity of food yes exactly they've got a characteristic of consuming the facts when they observe a period of scarcity so the fat gets consumed thus providing them the needed nutrients and the food so this was somehow a small explanation of the chapter let's see if we can have a few question and answers as well now question number one here is how do mongoose kill snakes well the mongoose engages in a long fight with the snake it's a tiresome fight although the mongoose's fur does not let the snake to bite it thus leaving in the venom that is the poison and thus after the long fight because the mongoose is quite an agile animal my friends the fast moves that he makes is nothing in comparison to the sluggishness of the snake the snake simply cannot match it when lastly the snake gets tired the final blow is given by the mongoose and thus the snake is killed how do desert animals survive without water as it said the characteristic of desert animals of surviving without water is quite unique as it said about the darkling beetle over here simply in the mornings what he does it he does spread out his legs to collect the morning dew and as it is collected on its furry legs he lets the droplets trickle down and quenches his thirst the camel here is again explained to be a unique animal who drinks gallons of water and i'm just not talking about few hundreds it's about thousands gallons of water <coughs> within a period of 10 to 15 minutes thus the animals living in desert have adapted themselves perfectly towards the harsh conditions of the desert my friends the last question is how does the hump of camel help them to survive when there is no water the notion here of the hump carrying water in them is totally wrong please understand that the hump is simply made up of fats and during the scarcity of water and food it is these humps and the fat stored in those humps help the camel to gain the necessary nutrients and the food the fat in the humps gets dissolved thus providing the camel the necessary food and the nutrients that are really needed for living out in those harsh conditions well to the right here of mine is a link on which if you click you'll be followed to the whole playlist of the six standard honeysuckle do subscribe to our channel my friends because this is receiving good responses comment below to get some solutions as well thanking you today this is kevin